In this tutorial, I'll show you how to apply conditional formatting to figures in Excel. This can be useful if you have two or more conditions and you want to format the data in each condition separately. In this example, there are two groups, a control group, which I dummy coded with one, and a patient group, which I dummy coded with two. And each subject has a response time, and these are sorted in ascending order, but you don't have to. So the first thing um, to do is create two columns, and these will contain the response times for condition one and condition two. And to do that, we'll use an if statement. So let's say if, and now we need to supply three arguments. The first argument is the expression that we want to test. So we'll say if condition is equal to one. Next, we need to say what value to insert if the expression is true. So in this case, if the condition, if the condition is one, we'll insert the mean response time. Finally, we need to tell Excel what to insert if the condition is false. And here we need to insert some type of blank value. But if we just press the spacebar and then enter, it will look like there's a blank value if the condition is false. But it won't actually be blank and it's going to mess up the formatting when we go to graph it. So what we're going to do instead is call a function called na. And this is going to return a null value. And this will be ignored during plotting, which is what we want. We'll do the same to the condition two response time column. So let's say if the condition is equal to two, insert the mean response time, and if not, insert a null value. And we'll just apply the formatting to the rest of the data. And now we're ready to chart. So under the chart tab, <coughs> we'll click the bar icon and choose clustered bar. And already you can see that the conditions have different formatting. The last thing we need to do is change the formatting of the data series. So you can see that um, some of the spaces are unequal between the bars. So to change that, click on the data series and then right click and choose format data series. Now change the overlap to 100%. And we can also change the gap width, and this is going to change the spacing between the bars. So I'm going to change that to 100%. And all the rest is just up to you, and it depends on what kind of formatting you like to use. Here's an example of a graph that's fully formatted. And now that the colors are sorted according to condition type, it's very easy to see that the patients have much longer response times than the controls tend to have. You can apply the same technique to a dot chart. So this is a chart I created um, that's just based on a scattered plot. Finally, you can use the same technique for scatter charts. So in this example, we saw the control and patient group and now, in addition to a response time, we have a score on some type of task. So we use the same setup. We have um, different columns for the different conditions and each variable in the condition. And we use the same if statement. So we'll say if the condition is equal to 1, insert the mean response time, and if not, insert a null value. And for the score column, if the condition equals 1, insert the score, and if not, a null value. And we use the same type of formatting for conditions, too. So to plot this, instead of plotting everything at once, you need to plot each condition separately. So I'll select the data for condition 1, and under the scatter icon, choose a marked scatter. And then I'll select the data for condition 2, and choose Mark Scatter again. So now we just need to combine the charts. So to do that, click anywhere on one of the charts, uh, choose the data series, and now copy it by pressing Command Copy. And now select anywhere on the other chart and paste it with uh, Control V. 
Um, so again, you can see that the data is formatted according to condition type. And when that's fully formatted, uh, you get something like this, where each dot represents a patient and it's color coded according to what condition the patient is in. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and leave a comment. And thank you for watching.